Okay, so this is definitely recently one of my most requested videos to make and to be honest I'm a little bit excited slash scared to make this video because it's one of those videos that either like either character that wins like there's gonna be like a solid amount of people that disagree with me and you know like want to you know completely kill me but I mean it's at the end of the day this is just my opinion I'm trying to be as objective as I possibly can like I am removing all biases like I'm not even going to say which character I like the, the most out of these two until the end of the video just so you guys know that i'm you know i'm not trying to you know establish any biases early on i'm not trying to be biased but it's just one of those things that either way there's going to be a solid amount of people that just straight up disagree with me but as you can tell by the title in this video we're going to be talking about current garo so garo that did all that crazy shit in the last chapter against blue dragon genos or rather daedric genos i just want to kind of say that but i kind of want to i guess of course before we get into the video i'm getting way too ahead of myself before we get into the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel because i post a lot of one punch man content and recently i've been going really hard on the one punch man content because you know a lot of you you know have been getting a lot of support from one punch man content so it, i can see that a lot of you guys do like it but apart from that let's just get into the video now first of all i just want to kind of i guess establish some of the feats or you know some of the more impressive feats on each party side so i kind of want to start off with current garo now i'm pretty sure we can all agree that garo currently has had some of the most impressive feats in this arc and let me just name you know some of the feats he's established well First of all, he was able to beat Bang, which already is a pretty impressive feat. Next, he was able to one-shot Vomited Fuhrer Ugly, who is like a consensus high dragon in the community. Third of all, he was able to knock, you know, Platinum S into the air with ease. I mean, I, I guess I can give Platinum S the benefit of the doubt that he was caught off guard, but regardless, it was a very impressive feat. Not to mention that he literally d did all of this in like less than a second, in literally a hundredth of a second. And obviously, we saw that he literally pretty much teleported to the battlefield where King versus, you know, Evil Natural Water and Platinum Sperm were. So that already is an insane speed feat. Next, he was also able to blitz Evil Natural Water and before. Before that he was actually able to deflect evil natural waters water beams which is again another impressive feat because if you guys didn't know i consider evil natural water to be like a, a solid mid to high dragon depending on how much water he's absorbed of course i even think evil natural water could be you know has the potential to be you know above dragon if he absorbs like an entire ocean or something but Anyway, moving on, Garo was able to do all of this in less than a flipping second. That is incredible. I'm not even sure, you know, if a speed feat like that has been, you know, matched in this series. Of, of course, Flashy Flash has also, you know, achieved these speed feats. Of course, Saitama as well. But I mean, you could also give an argument for Boros. But I'd say this is one of the most, I guess, like top two most impressive speed feats. Off the top of my head, I don't think there's any other speed feat that could top this in less than a second. Pretty much in an instant, Garo was able to take care of two high-ranking cadres, which again is just crazy just to think about. But of course, we see that current Garo, in my opinion, would probably be like a a solid low to mid above dragon, somewhere in in that area. I don't think he's strong enough to be mid above dragon, but I don't think he's weak enough to be low. So somewhere in between those two but let's move on to some of genesis feats well daedric genesis feats now we've seen that daedric genos well his most impressive feats were obviously against saiko sorochi he was able to pretty much get to the battle scene in the air with tatsumaki and sakurochi in an instant like literally in a flash i wouldn't say it's as fast as garo but I feel like it's definitely a very impressive speed feat nonetheless and we also see that he was able to shoot a beam that was able to literally deflect Sakurochi's like you know god level attack. I would say that Sakurochi's beam that was able to like slice off a continent is like pushing a god level attack like 
if Sagasarija was to spam that on the earth, I am sure we can all agree that would be like a, a definitely a, an attack or a, a flurry of attacks that could definitely damage, you know, the, the, the possible extinction of humanity. I feel like humanity would be at a big risk if Sagasarija was to spam that attack. And I feel like the fact that, you know, Genos was able to do this in itself is like easily mid above dragon high above dragon levels of strength and of course this isn't base genesis like you know this isn't base daedric genesis feats this is more like his blue dragon 10 second mode so i guess that is also a factor we need to take into account this is genos in his 10 second mode like this is in genos when he's like in his normal daedric form normal daedric genos would probably be like a you know maybe highish dragon maybe mid high dragon normal daedric genos but in blue dragon 10 second mode like genos is easily above dragon like no question about it and i feel like if genos was to fire this beam at this form of garo i feel like it, there's either two things that could happen here garo could completely dodge this which is going to be very difficult because i'm assuming this beam is going at like hyper you know hypersonic speeds so garo's gonna have to like instantly just teleport similar to how he did in you know the battlefield against like vomited fear ugly evil natural water and platinum s he's gonna have to do something similar to that in an instant to dodge this and even if he could i'm guessing that maybe genos could maybe bend this attack a little bit to kind of you know match uh, uh, garo's speed i know this hasn't been shown but i'm guessing genos can do something like that but if garo was able to you know dodge this attack from genos then garo would definitely be the victor of this fight but of course genos is obviously going to be completely out of the fight so garo is going to win but assuming garo couldn't dodge this attack and he was like a second too late then you know genos definitely completely destroys this form of garo but i mean it's it's a pretty circumstantial kind of kind of fight i feel like this is pretty difficult because i feel like both of them are strong in their own regard but i feel like when it comes to specific situations like this it's pretty hard to kind of you know get a cl you know a clear-cut winner which is why it's you know it's kind of difficult because Garu could win and Genos could win, but it all just depends on these circumstantial, very specific situations. But I feel like overall, I feel like Genos' firepower at the moment is just a bit too strong for Garu to handle. So assuming Garu can't dodge this, then Blue Dragon 10 second mode, Genos wins this fight. And of course, if Garu can dodge it, then Garu wins the fight, of course. Now, if we're talking about webcomic Genos versus current Garu, that's a completely different story. And I can say right now that webcomic genos completely destroys current garo like easily but hopefully that kind of answers most of you guys's question because i know i've got a lot of you know requests about this fight and it's so hard to get like a clear-cut winner because both of them have things that can you know get this fight more in their favor if that makes any sense i feel like Obviously, my personal favorite character out of these two is definitely Garo, but I can't deny the fact that Genos, Genos' firepower is just way too much for Garo to handle, especially since I'm assuming Genos' attacks are kind of, in terms of speed, are similar to how fast he can move as well, maybe even faster. So the way Genos got to the battle scene with Tatsumaki and Saiko Sorochi is it was pretty much instant as well like we just saw a flash of lightning in a mat you know in a panel and we saw that he was up there with tatsumaki in an instant even tatsumaki was surprised when he saw genos just instant you know when she saw genos instantly just get up there with her because he was so fast so assuming that his attack is just as fast as how quickly he can move then i i'm not too sure if garo can dodge this attack with 100 percent certainty but as i said before i've come to my verdict and I hope this kind of answers you guys' question. If it doesn't, then I don't really know how else I'm supposed to approach this. But if you guys did like the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And apart from that, I will see you in my next video.